Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Hanover Courthouse, located in Hanover County, Virginia, on May 27, 1862. Union General George B. McClellan was alerted to a Confederate army consisting of anywhere between 6,000 and 17,000 men heading for Hanover Courthouse, north of Mechanicsville. This threatened McClellan's right flank, and in turn, McClellan ordered Major General Fitz John Porter and his 5th Corps, comprising of 4,000 men, to deal with the Confederate interlopers. Meanwhile, Confederate Brigadier General Lawrence O.B. Branch had departed Gordonsville to guard the Virginia Central Railroad by taking position at Peaks Crossing, about three and a half miles from the courthouse. Union Commander Porter approached Peaks Crossing and at noon on May 27th, the Union's 25th New York Infantry came across the Confederates' 28th North Carolina, led by Confederate Colonel James H. Lane. The two forces engaged in a skirmish until Porter was able to move up the rest of his army. The Confederates were driven back towards the courthouse. Porter assumed that the 28th North Carolina was retreating towards their main force and he pursued them. Porter left three regiments at the New Bridge and Hanover Courthouse Road intersection. This exposed Porter's command to a rear attack by Colonel Branch, who attacked the troops left at the crossroads. The error that Confederate Commander Branch made was that he didn't know that Porter's force was as big as it was, and Porter sent additional forces back to deal with Branch. The battle culminated in a fight at the Kinney Farm. The Confederate line broke under the reinforcements that Porter had sent, and they retreated back to Ashland. The final toll of the battle was 355 casualties on the Union side, comprising of 62 killed, 233 wounded, and 70 captured, while the Confederates lost 930 men, including 200 wounded and killed, and 730 captured by Porter's cavalry. Join us next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.